guys. Hello. Um, a lot of you have been asking recently um, the supplements that Kyle and I used that we used when we were losing weight and uh, there's been actually a lot of questions on when we started using things like protein powder. So we thought we would do a video for you today telling you about the supplements, in our opinion, the supplements that you should use when you're trying to lose weight. <laughs> When we first started, we didn't actually use any supplements. We just used real food. And in my opinion, and Kyle, I think you as well, yep. think that you should stick with food. Um, don't really, you don't really need to focus on protein powder or any kind of supplements at that point. If you were um, as big as we were, and you can barely move and you can barely exercise. You don't need any supplements in our opinion and yeah. we didn't use any at the beginning. We just started moving as much as we could, eating real food and eating less of it. Yeah, we portioned everything out. Yeah. Um, fat burners are often a question that comes up. Um, no, we don't use fat burners. Uh, we didn't use them regularly. They don't burn fat and this is in our opinion and we've tried many over the years, they do not burn fat. They do give you extra energy, and you know, sometimes we do take them here and there as a pre-workout for the extra energy. However, they do not burn fat. And I just wanna repeat that because a lot of people get caught up in the, well, if I can just take a fat burner, maybe it'll help me lose weight. No, yeah, it will not. No magic pills. Okay. No, there are no magic pills. You do have to um, eat, healthy, balanced diet and workout, unfortunately. <laughs> um, we, we didn't use protein powder until we lost our first 100 pounds, I would say, each. You can use it if you want. It's good in smoothies. You can flavor your yogurt and oatmeal with it. Do you really need it? No, I don't think you do, in my opinion, and is it in gonna, the beginning. Is it gonna keep you full, like you need in yeah. the beginning? No. no. Um, so, in our opinion, we would recommend you don't need any supplements for the first 50 pounds at least. Um, you know, some, some of the recipes we do share with you do have protein powder, and it's okay if you want to have it, um, but focus on real food. Yeah, like, basically guys, there's a reason why they're called supplements. It's because they're to supplement your diet. They're not meant yeah. to replace they're not, food. They're not miracle workers. You do need, and, and now, even now, when we're trying to build muscle, we do use some supplements, which we'll show you at the end, but we don't rely on supplements. We use our diet um, full of real food in order to fuel our workouts. Um, and then obviously some caffeine and pre-workout stuff here and there, but our main supplement is our diet. Um, yeah. and, and that is what we would always recommend. When you do think you're ready to add more exercise into your program, because if you are severely overweight like we were, you won't really be able to do a whole lot of movement and that's another reason why you don't need supplements because a pre-workout is there to fuel an intense workout and at that point um and i this is not my opinion this is true because i was there you can't do an intense workout when you're 150 pounds overweight like i was um you just can't you can barely move you can barely walk up and down the stairs so you don't need a pre-workout it won't really do anything for you don't waste your money on that no stuff in the beginning when you're ready when you've dropped 50 75 pounds and you want to start doing a bit more exercise or even like before that but like i said we didn't start until we were about 100 pounds down um then you can start with a good protein powder and this one is a really good one. It's BPI Sports and it's peanut butter candy bar. It tastes like a Snickers bar. It's really delicious. And it is a hydrolyzed pro protein, which helps you digest protein powder a lot easier. And um, we have, if you guys check out our channel, we have a bunch of reviews on the products that we actually use and really like. So you yeah. can check those out for more like other companies and different recommendations that yeah. we have. And like I said, I mean, you can use protein powder throughout if you want. It, it's totally fine. Um, it'll help 
your protein, your oatmeal taste better, it'll help smoothies and yogurt taste better, but do you need it? No. Um, then, the other thing we recommend once you start adding more exercise in are BCAAs. And this one is so good. It is the Amino Core All Max, sorry, All Max Amino Core, and it is in the flavor Blue Raspberry. It is so good. And these are just essential amino acids. Your body does make some of them, but this replenishes um, everything for during a workout and you generally take these during a workout. However, on days where I might have to go a bit longer in between meals, I do take a scoop of this in my water and drink it throughout the day. Um, so you can do either of those. Those are the two supplements we recommend yep. for, like we said, in the middle of your weight loss journey. Now then, if you're ready to build muscle the way Kyle and I are now, we're pretty much done with losing weight. We're just working on shedding the last little bit of body fat that we have and um, continuing to grow the muscle that we've been building. Um, you can start taking something called creatine, which your body naturally makes, um, and you can also get in red meat. Um, this stuff is good to help your muscles recover, and it also helps you do um, lift heavier and lift longer, and do like pump out an extra few reps. Um, I take the Purple K, the Fusion, and that's this in the capsule form, and Kyle takes a Muscle Tech powder in a tub. Um, um, creatine monohydrate. Yeah, it's called creatine monohydrate, so it's just in powder form. Um, and we'll show you that after. Um, and then you can also take a pre-workout. This one is Cobra Labs, is called Shadow X, and this is in the lemon flavor. It's called Lemon Zero. So you take this before your workout, and then it will help you. You sometimes can get like a tingly feeling because it has something called beta alanine in it. Um, and that gives you like the tingly feeling, but it will help you squeeze better. It will help your muscles feel more pumped. It will help you feel more focused and alert. More energized. More energized. Yeah. It, it overall helps you to get a, an extra good workout. And if you're doing like, let's say an hour session of heavy weights and cardio and stuff, you, you probably want something like that. Yeah. Um, if you're only doing 15, 20 minutes of walking like we were doing in the very, very beginning, you definitely not do not need a pre-workout. No. And pre-workout is for an intense workout where you need a bit of a boost. Um, we take it a few times a week now. We don't like to rely on it. We prefer to switch up our pre-workout. Sometimes we use coffee. Sometimes we don't use anything. But um, Cobra Labs is really good. They also sell one called The Curse, which is a little less strong than this one. Shadow X is stronger, but The Curse is amazing. It's my favorite pre-workout of all time, I would have to say, and the flavors are amazing. And before you guys take anything, make sure you do your research uh, yeah. online, look up some reviews. Um, on our channel, we have a bunch of reviews on BCAAs and pre-workout and protein, like we said, so just look yeah. around. We don't buy anything until we've researched. Bodybuilding.com is really good. They have reviews on everything, and it's people that generally actually use the product, and they'll even rate the flavors so yeah. you know which one is best to try. Yep. And um, yeah, like Kyle said, we have tons of reviews too, and every review that you see of a product, we actually use that product uh, on a regular basis. So it, it, in our opinion, it's a good one. So yeah, um, I'll just show you Kyle's um, powder, his creatine powder, the monohydrate. Okay guys, so this is the creatine monohydrate that I take. It should be dirt cheap, like creatine should not be expensive. So if somebody's trying to sell you like really expensive creatine, then it's no good because this is all you need. And the Purple K, you can get really good prices on sale. Supplementsource.ca um, has really good prices for both these, actually. They they do the same thing. Uh, it's just different versions, the powdered and the pill form. Um, yeah. There's there's a big misconception out there, guys, that um, if you are starting to lift weights, um, you will want to be uh, taking creatine. It helps you recover and fills your muscles out, allows more blood to get in there. Um, there's a misconception that 
creatine makes you fat. It's completely false. Creatine does not bloat you. It, um, especially in this day and age, in, in 2016, I mean, I used to hear stories, like we're, we're getting old, but I used to hear stories back in the day like creatine would hurt, upset your stomach and bloat you and all this garbage that definitely is not true in 2016. It actually allows water and blood to get in your muscles. It'll make you look actually leaner when you're taking creatine. It'll fill out your muscles. The water weight gain that you might get a couple pounds is actually inside your muscle. It's not between the skin and the muscle. And it, so it won't make you look bloated, it'll make you look leaner because it'll make your muscles look fuller. And we've heard like, um, this is what the powder looks like by the way. Um, it's, you just put a scoop of that in your water and uh, you don't really taste it actually. If you put it in room temperature water and shake it up, yeah. you don't even taste no, it. No, there's no food. Um, and then this is the capsules. I just, I prefer the capsules. I feel in my brain like I get better results with capsules. So I take capsules and Kyle likes the And it kind of depends. Powder. Like if we know a few a few brands that we really like to use, if one goes on sale, we'll go with that one. Yeah, you know that's I mean? the other thing too. Is like we got both of these for really good deals. So we have tons of bottles of these put away. Yeah. Um, but I've also heard rumors about creatine, like um, it's a steroid. It's yeah. not, your body makes it naturally. Yeah. This just gives you more of it because you can't get it from a whole lot of food sources. Like I say, you can get it from red meat. And we don't eat a lot of red meat. So. No, I most weeks I don't eat any red meat at all, really, unless I have it's it a cheat day. Maybe once a month I have red meat, so. Yeah, like I'll eat a burger on cheat day, but other than that, that's really the only red meat I get. Yeah. And if that's what I choose on a treat day. So, um, also I've heard that um, it'll make females gain weight and I that I actually lose weight. Oh, this is a good one. It'll make you bulky. Yeah, it'll make you bulky. I've heard um, I've heard you have to lean down before you take slim down before you take creatine. No, you don't. When I was losing weight, when I wanted to lose weight, I was losing weight and taking creatine at the same time. Now I want to put on muscle. I don't gain weight from creatine. I'm just putting on muscle. So yeah. um, if if any female out there wants to take it, I would highly recommend it. It helps me out completely um, and Kyle as well. So it's good for males and females. And remember your body does make it naturally. Yeah, so. and this is our kind of simple guide to supplements. And yeah. um, once you're ready, these are the basic ones that we take and we th we would recommend them. The protein powder, creatines, and BCAA. And then also we take vitamin C and fish oils um, as vitamins and those are also supplements that we take every day. The fish oils are, are really good for you and they also help you digest, digest protein powder better. And the vitamin C is just really good for everything. So those are the two vitamins that we take every yeah, day. Yeah, your immune system drops. If you're training really heavy and really long, your immune system can drop. So you'd want to take in vitamin C like before or right after your Yeah, before or after your training. I think, I think I've read it's generally recommended you take it before you train, but sometimes I forget and I take it after yeah. and it's totally fine. So we hope you guys enjoyed this. We hope you learned something. If you have any questions, feel free to put them below and we'll do our best to answer them if we can. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and you know what you need to do. Yeah, you do. If you don't like and subscribe, <laughs> meet him or her. <laughs> Boom, <laughs> bye guys. Bye guys.